Mark and Sherry Stockman here. We are uh, the owners of um, Stockman Angus. Sherry and I have been um, breeding Angus cattle on this property for just on 25 years. My family in the States, they purchased their first Angus in 1923, so they've just celebrated 100 years raising Angus cattle there. With having Honker on a beef property, it allows you to make timely choices so we can get all the right jobs prioritised at a busy time of the year. It saves you hours. A lot of your jobs are already done by the time you already get there. Like you can be having your coffee in the morning and you can shift three or four mobs of stock when you're having your coffee. On a daily basis, I would say at the moment, we're probably saving three hours of man labour units a day easy. There's wet nights and it's a miserable night, you know, you, you can't really get out there sometimes to shift fences, but it's nice to know that you can just give the stock an extra break or push them off a steep hill. The time savings that you get with a better pasture utilisation, your time can be spent on better things than just winding up a reel. With it being so simple to make that virtual fence line, we're grazing to a more consistent residue and getting better regrowth behind. I think we've imported less silage feed because we've utilised the pasture better. Our young stock were definitely maintained if not improved the same growth rates while just using our pasture better probably on less area. An extra 10%, you know, 28 kilos, that's a lot of extra feed that we don't have to push into them over those harder winter months. So that's going to be a big game changer for us. Being able to know that they're getting enough and you're doing everything right and yeah, then in turn getting that better pasture quality from the utilisation is just a win-win. I would believe that we're going to gain around about a 15 kilo weaning weight gain. That will actually repay for half of our lease cost on the collars. So I feel that is a great return just in that aspect there alone. I was quite sceptical about all of it when I first heard about it because it didn't make sense how it would work, you know, after doing reels and standards for so many years. After a week, you could tell that it was just going to be amazing. I'm not a very technology-minded person, but I've found it so easy. This technology that we've brought in, it means that I've got long-term longevity with my staff. I think their mental health is a lot better too because they're not overworked. When people get tired and a little bit, that's when you have a chance of losing labour and you can't afford to these days when you have good labour to begin with. I think it's actually been a saving grace and I think everybody's pretty much had their normal days off and, and finished at good times. They're pretty positive considering this is our busy, busy time of the year too. So no, I, I, I shudder to think if we hadn't got it this year. I think it's just made me a lot more excited about farming in the future, you know, like what the technology and that's actually going to bring, because I think it's only going to get better. Sustainability of farming, it's not just environment, it's about the people that are here, run it, manage it, work on it. I believe is actually creating something that is long-term sustainable, that people are going to enjoy farming because it's neat stuff. We're caretakers of the land, and I think we always want to leave it better than we that we started, and I think it's this is definitely a way with Halter to do that. It'll improve the, the outlook of our farms and, and how they're taken care of.